Inquirer Top says in UAP, AP1 WOMENS Volleyball Players, Week 8. Every week, Inquirer Sport will be ranking the 7 best performers in the UAP season, AP WOMENS Volleyball Tournament. The author will base the rankings on the players' team standings, statistics, and the intangibles that DONT appear on the stat sheet. Manila, the H-I-L-I-P-P-I-N-E-S-T-H-E. Final first spots are down to three. They at least officially clinched its place in the big event. The leaving defending champion D. Block failed the University of Santo Tomas, the Eastern University, and University of the Philippines, fighting for the remaining spots in the semi-finals. The ladies' Icarus were in second after week 8, with an 83 record two games behind the Lady Eagles, while the Golden Tigresses and the Lady Damaris are squeezed in the third spot, with 7 to 4 records. The Lady Maroons have the toughest time out of all the remaining final the contenders with their 6 to 5 record, putting them at the fifth spot. National. University was officially eliminated from the race, after falling to a 3-8 record, while University of the East, 2-9, and Evans and University, 1-10, the languish at the bottom of the ladder, with the team scenarios out of the way. Here are the 7 best players that made week 8, must it watch television 1. Cato Lentino made me the Manila University, office editor, the TNOF managing rush, has resulted to 10 straight wins with its lone loss of the tournament against Los Ayo in the opening weekend and one focal point of that streak is the steady play of Cat Dolentino. Dolentino has been the Lady Eagles' best scorer throughout the tournament, and she has been the TAMS constant throughout their winning run. Dolentino averaged 12 points this week, while maintaining her place in the top 5 of the best scorers list, with a total of 166 points for the number 1 spot to Diana Carlos, University of the Philippines, outside spiker. Diana Carlos makes a return on this list, not much because of UPS collective week, but through her sheer scoring throughout. The Lady Maroons split their games this week, but Carlos was nonetheless deadlier for the no.5 team in the tournament. Carlos averaged 19 points this week and that was the most by anyone in week 8. UPS captain also ended the week as the number 3 scorer with a total of 169 points. 3. Jolima de la Cruz de La Salle University, opposite editor de La Salle, had just one game this week, but that lone match helped the ladies' hikers solidify their hold of the second spot in the standings, and one person responsible for that outcome was Rookie Jolima de la Cruz. De la Cruz was solid for the defending champions with 13 points, while also helping on the defensive end with 10. Excellent digs, where they lure University of San Sotoma, outside Iker, the Golden Tigresses, like the ladies Ikers, played just one game this week, and it was a quick one. UST Trumpet Lee, in straight sets, 25 to 20, 25 to 20, 25 to 16, in a game that the ADNT need a huge offensive outburst from Star Cherry Arrow and D-I-N-A-L-T-H-O-U-G-H-S-H-E-S, still the L-E-A-G-U-E-S top scorer, with 197 total points, leading the way, for the Golden Tigresses was Ricky Starry Lord of WHOS on track to keep the Rookie of the Year prize. Lore finished with 14 points to maintain her spot as the second best scorer in the league with 189 points. 5. Maddy Madzigazi of the Manila University, middle blocker, ITS, not just Cat Dolentino, who has been the stabilizing factor for the Lady Eagles during this long winning streak. Enter middle blocker Maddie Madiok, the Lady Eagles main first 
in the middle is looking more impenetrable as the sea wind goes on and she averaged 9.5 points during ATN no S perfect run this week. In the overall best scorers table, Matia is the highest scoring middle blocker with 134.6. Heather Gino below the Lady Tamra has went 1 to 1 this week, but Heather Gino most still deserves some praise. Happy you has been undermanned since Rookie. Starlight Within went down with an injury in week 6 and Kimoo dutifully stepped up her game in the Lady Tamra of two games this week. Kimoo had a meager 7 point production in a US first game this week against Kat Little, but up the ante on Saturday, putting up a career high 22 points. In the Lady Tamra of 25 to 21, 19 to 25, 25 to 23, 25 to 22 wins over up 7. Marion B. University of the Philippines, Province of Center, that needed someone to step up from his ranks when started to ease the mold, suffered an ankle injury on March 31st. Fortunately for the Lady Maroons, veteran Marion B. was there. Pitcher languish at UPS bench for much of the season, but she kept herself ready, and in her first start, she pulled up a career performance of 19 points in the Lady Maroons, close 25 to 23, 20 to 25, 25 to 23, 24 to 26, a 15 to 11 win against Yui. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.